Now today our topic is on morality. Let's hear what the Latter-day Prophets have to say about this. Uh, Mackenzie, if I can have you come up and read what Ezra Taft Benson said, and also Grant, I'd like you to come up and read what Harold B. Lee said about this, and then Cody will hear from you about what Joseph Billy Smith said on morality. President Ezra Taft Benson said, Decide now to be chaste. The decision to be chaste and virtuous need only be made once. Make that decision now and let it be so firm and with such deep commitment that it can never be shaken. We must also fill our lives with righteousness. We must, we must engage in activities that bring spiritual power. President Harold B. Lee once said, to some it may seem old-fashioned to speak of virtue and chastity, honest, morality, faith, character, but these are the qualities which have built great men and women, and point the way by which one may find happiness. These are the qualities which are the anchors to our lives. President Joseph Fielding Smith said, Chastity is a vital doctrine of the church and is a standard which we are taught cannot be violated without dire consequences consequences. Thank you, class. I really appreciate your participation. Uh, this time, why don't we go ahead and get our, take out our books, get some pencil and paper, and we're going to... We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news. Terrifying moments for a 15-year-old young woman from the Riverview Ward while on a date with young men from the east side. While saying goodnight, the young man tried to give more than just a little hug. The young woman screamed and her brother rushed in to help and fight the offender off. RV TV reporter Ainita Scoop caught up with the victim. Ainita, I understand the emotions are running high. Yes, Mark. The young woman told us that she knew she was too young to go out on a date, but could not resist the chance to go out with a popular football player from another high school. She stated that he seemed like a nice enough guy and was really cute, but then when he started to hug her goodnight, he got very aggressive. Yeah, we had just finished hanging out. I thought it was like really cool that a senior asked me on a date, but then when I said goodnight to him with a hug, he was trying to get it all on me and was trying to go way too far, so I was like, I'm out here. Upon hearing her screams, her brother ran to her aid, but the young man got away, leaving behind this evidence. Mark, I was also able to interview the brother of the victim, and he wanted to give a message to his sister and the youth of Maricopa North State. Well, obviously, we have Satan with his temptations. He's climbing in your bedroom. He's snatching your people up. So hide your strength in you pamphlets. Hide your ego projects. Hey, hide President Palmer, because he's taking over everything out here. You know what? Satan is dumb, for real. Lucifer is really, really dumb, okay? Obviously, the solution is the 13th article of faith, particularly being chaste. Don't date before you're 16. That is dumb. You got skills, okay? You've been taught, all right? Seriously, you cannot have relations, okay? If you're not chased, you don't have to come and confess. We go find you. I'm telling you right now, we go find you. So run and tell that, Maricopa North. If any of you have any information concerning this crime, please contact Bishop Alan Clanton from the Riverview Ward. Friends of the victim would also like to say a few words to the attacker and anyone else who is having a hard time with the law of chastity. Look, here's a strength for you pamphlet. It spells out loud and clear how you're supposed to act when going on a date. Undress in appearance, it says your body is God's sacred creation. Respect it as a gift from God and do not defile in any way. That when you obey God's commandments to be sexually pure, you prepare yourself to make and keep sacred covenants in the temple, to build a strong marriage and bring children into the world with a loving family. Do not date until you're at least 16 years old. Dating before then can lead to immorality, limit the number of young people you meet, and will deprive you of finding an eternal partner. Through your dress and appearance, you can show the Lord that you know how precious your body is. You protect yourself from the emotional damage that comes from sharing physical intimacies with someone outside of marriage. You can show that you are a disciple of Jesus Christ. That's what I'm talking about. We believe in being chased! Woo! That was easy. <laughs> <laughs>
lie to your people up. Oh. Trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your other kids. They rape your everybody out here. You don't have a call, it's the best. We're looking for you. We gon' find you, we gon' find you. So you can run and tell that, run and tell that, run and tell that. Homeboy, homeboy.